Hi, I'm Alicia Mason. Welcome back to Seven Saturdays to a Fire Resistant Home. Each week, we're talking about ways to make your home safer from wildfires. In previous episodes, we've covered creating a defensible space, making your home fire safe, and preparing for an evacuation in the event of an emergency. Today, we're gonna show you how to be a smart gardener by making your property beautiful and more fire resistant at the same time. First, we'll learn about types of plants and trees you should think about having around your home. Then, we'll talk about ways to position plants around your home to better prevent them from catching fire. And finally, we'll talk about tree placement when creating defensible space around your property. To help out, I'd like to welcome back our expert, David Hawks, former fire chief of the Cal Fire Butte Unit and senior public safety specialist at PG&E. Thanks for having me back, Alicia. Gardening is a popular hobby here in beautiful California. To make your home more fire resistant, plant selection and placement are key. Today, I'm gonna to show you some simple steps to keep garden plants and trees on your property from becoming fuel for a fire. While no plant is fireproof, I'll give you tips on which native plants have adapted to become more fire resistant than others. Okay, wow, well, now I'm interested. So David, you mentioned that certain plants and trees have evolved to be more fire resilient. Absolutely. Over centuries, native plants in fire prone areas like California have adapted to protect themselves. That's so cool. I had no idea that we have plants native to this region that are actually fire resistant. David, can you touch on what types of plants are fire resistant? Yes, it's best to check with your local nursery. Any plant is capable of burning. However, some plants like these here that are non-woody herbaceous are more resistive to fire than others. And for trees, it's best to select a tree that is deep rooted, has thicker bark, and typically a tree with leaves over needles. Perfect, okay, and I'd love to talk about plant placement. I know that's important too. It is. Wow, these plants are a big problem. They pose a big risk to this house. Not only are they in the wrong spot up close to the house, but these are woody plants. They should never be planted close to the house. They should be planted well out into the landscaped area of the yard. No plant should ever be planted within five feet of the home. Plants that are within from five to 30 feet should be low growing and non-woody plants. These plants should be planted outside of that 30 foot zone. The other problem with these plants is they have a lot of dry dead material. It is super receptive to embers in a firestorm. Let's pick these up and move them well away from the house. Sounds good. David, tell us a little bit about this plant placement here. Good question. These two plants are definitely too close together. And not only that, they're, they're immature plants, they're young plants. We need to consider what the plant size is gonna be at maturity. And these plants are gonna probably get six to eight feet tall, if not taller. So what we need to do is create two times the space of that height when we're planting them. So we should be looking at 10 to 12 feet separation at least. It's also good to create pathways through your garden with rock and other types of non-combustible material that will help break up fuel continuity. Okay, and this plant over here looks a little sad, is that correct? Boy, this guy's seen better days. Yeah. The best thing that you can do is keep your, your plants well irrigated and watered so that they're healthy and have high moisture content in the plant. But in the case of this guy, since he's on his last leg, we need to remove him altogether. Okay, so a more beautiful garden is actually a safer garden, David. Absolutely. Sounds good. Okay, David, so we touched on plants. Can you tell us a little bit more about trees? Absolutely. You need to think about what the tree is gonna look like at maturity. Conifers and taller trees should be planted at least 30 feet away from the home. Smaller trees and trees with leaves like a dogwood may be planted a little bit closer. The other thing you need to think about is when the trees reach maturity, what other trees in the area will be close proximity to them. You need to make sure that you have at least 10 foot of spacing between the crowns of trees once they reach maturity. That's a great point. Is there anything else I should keep in mind when planning on my property? Yes, you need to be aware that fire spreads faster on sloped surfaces. If your property is sloped, choose plants that are lower in height and lower in volume, and make sure to give them plenty of space from each other. At least double the amount of space that you would give them on flat ground. Alicia, that's an excellent example of a fire resistive plant. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love that it's an activity I can do with my whole family, and it's making my home more fire resilient. Remember that additional landscaping projects like building stone walls, gravel walkways, and patios also increase the amount of defensible space immediately around your home. That all sounds great. What's in store for next week? We're going to look at simple ways to make the inside of your home more fire resilient. Okay, well, I'm definitely interested in learning more about that. Thanks again for joining us on Seven Saturdays to a more fire resistant home. We'll see you next week. 
If you want to catch up on our previous seven Saturdays to a fire resistant home, go to safetyactioncenter.pge.com to watch past episodes and learn more preparedness tips.